I look so burned. Bo. Yeah? Where are you? Can you say ma'am? <laughs> oh my gosh. Bo's looking at tools. Yeah. You're so weird. Don't be scared. Bo, where did all your hair go? It's gone. That's where did it go? In the trash can. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't know it came with all this sauce, but I got these chicken enchiladas that they're gluten-free So hopefully they're good, but anyway, and then Bo got a big old plate of gluten I'm just kidding. He got pasta. I have my lemon water though, and it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You enjoy that? I'll enjoy this No, yay, I'm excited all right, to eat. Time to eat. Bye. Here we go again. Is it filming? Yeah. I feel like we actually just vlogged it, but it's been at least over a month. Is the gluten-free better? Same. <laughs> no, it's not. Look how cute our little date is. No gym today. <laughs> no, we don't go to the gym on Sundays. We do cookies on Sundays. Hi, Cambria. <laughs> Why do you always do that? Camatuna. Are we going to Walmart? No, I don't like. I feel like Costco and Walmart are like grouped into the same categories, and I don't like either of them. What's up, Camatuna? We got our salmon. Please don't look at my hair. Mm. It's so bad, I didn't do anything. This is the best salmon in the world from Costco. And then we got some flea stuff for the dogs. And some olive oil. Look at all of our healthy fats. You can show them all the Christmas stuff and it's October. Look how, I'm so excited for Christmas. I can't wait. Bo, this is you. Well, I'm more excited for our one year anniversary coming up. <gasps> Yay! Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Uh, you want to give me a kiss, don't you? Yeah. Well, you gotta, <laughs> right now. Yes, now. <laughs> that just reminds me I look pretty good in one of those costumes. <laughs> yeah. oh, I mean. Look. So Camry's gonna buy me a new costume for Halloween. So what you think? I look pretty good in one of these. Oh, nice. What's up guys? We're gonna go to dinner right now. We're late. We missed the sunset. We have to film. Bye. Bye, Cambria. Bye, Cambria. Bye, Bo. Bye. <laughs> Why do you always say bye, Cambria? Bo literally picked off every single onion on his food. You are so, so, you're so cute. Aww. I know, I can tell. We cleared our plates. We had fish and salad. It was really good. Did you like it? Your pet pumpkin. Pet well, you have like a weird thing with this pumpkin. Yes, pet it. No. <laughs> Come on, get. We literally walked in here and Bo was like, look at that pumpkin. Pet it. <laughs> no. It's a good pumpkin. That's a good pumpkin. Oh. You are so weird. You are so weird. He was literally like, look at this. And then we got this gluten-free pizza and he picked it up and he was like, now it's a pizza. And he like put it on the pizza. I was like, get that off of our pizza. <laughs> it's like so gross. Like, hey, in the world? you do not call that gross. <laughs> He's like in love with this pumpkin. You're so It's weird. cute. <laughs> I'm gonna make a little baby jack on it. Aww. Oh, see, it's cute. Told you. <laughs> yeah, but girls normally think little things are cute. And guys are like, why is that cute? And it's like, because it's little. Hey, he has a little big heart, all right? A little big heart? Yes. <laughs> you're like in love. It's like your child. A little thing I think he can. I know he can. Oh. And I know he will. <laughs> Just kidding. You're Sorry. Sorry. That's a good pumpkin. We're gonna get dessert too. This is a real, we haven't done anything like this in so long. Oh. Bo, do a vlog. <laughs> but I'm totally excited because I got this great opportunity coming in with a new brand, blah, 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 blah. Is that, does that get enough? <laughs> that was funny. All right, cool. <laughs> And you were like right up in I your know. face. <laughs> you want to tell your your friends how nice I was? I let you have the last bite of Wait, dessert. Wait, you're on audio. Oh, he let delicious. me have the last bite of our gluten-free chocolate mousse. And we have this thing where we have sides. No. We we split when no. we share. When no. we share our nachos. When we share. We share the whole thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. You divide it in half. That's divide. That's divide. <laughs> There's a there's a, a line no. that she doesn't understand yet where no. when we have nachos for instance at our spot and she attends to like to like start on my side. Can you drive? Uh sure. 
Here, take the camera, take the keys. Bo, take the wheel. <laughs> Get in the car. Let's go. Come on, everyone. Come with me. I'll keep you safe. Are you serious? What? Look at the seat. What about it? Look how crunched up I'm gonna get the wheel. <laughs> you have to scoot it back. I'm a lot shorter. Gosh. I'm like a smaller person than you. Call you a Smurfette. What's a Smurfette? You don't know what a Smurf is? I know what a Smurf okay. is, but not a Smurfette. Do they that's call a them a Smurf? Smurf? That's what they call them? Is that yeah. what they're actually called though? A Smurfette, I guess. That's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you call them. This is, is Papa that Papa Smurf. <laughs> I literally never wear this jacket either. Like I, n they think this is like the first time I've ever worn it out. I've never worn it out. Our dinner was so good though. It was so good. Uh, we haven't been to a fancy dinner though in a while. We haven't, which is okay. That's good. I like my makeup though tonight. I did really, really minimal, like super minimal on the eyes, but then I kind of did like, I don't know, a little bit more in the corner and then just mascara. So it wasn't too intense. So I really like how it turned out. And then I just did my regular face makeup with the highlight and I really like it. It's cute. I know I did a pretty good job on your makeup tonight, huh? I, I improved since my last video. <laughs> yeah, I did a killer job. <laughs> yeah, you made so, me. So I don't want you to go get take all the credit for that. Right? Well, you, okay. You tried to make me Ariel last time. Night, Ursula. Ursula. Good morning, it's October 26th. I'm still really tired this morning, but I'm going to hot yoga. So I just got up about an hour ago, but I cleaned up my room a little bit. It's not even completely clean. Like there's just, there's too much stuff in here right now. I need to like go through the receipts and I don't know. I just kind of have like random stuff to put away, but yes. Okay, I have to go. My battery's on low, so I really hope I can say this before it dies, but I'm really curious about deodorant. I stopped using regular deodorant because of all the aluminum in it and how I've seen that it links to breast cancer, Alzheimer's, or I, I don't know how you pronounce that correctly, but I know that it links to certain things that aren't good for you, and parabens have been found in breast cancer tissue before, and so deodorant with parabens and like aluminum, like I'm just kind of really not scared of it, but I'm just like, I don't know if I want to use that anymore. And so I looked into like detoxification and it is not going well. <laughs> I feel like I don't smell good anymore and I put on the deodorant every single day, like all natural deodorant. I use this one called Lavalin or something like that, which got like the top reviews on Amazon. It's not working for me and I don't know if it's because I need to like I don't know the reason, but I'm just wondering what you use if you use natural deodorant, if it works, if you've done a detoxification process. I just I just want your opinion. The second thing is, since we're on the topic of deodorant and stuff, have any of you had laser hair removal for your armpits? For those of you who have really dark, thick hair like I do, my eyebrows are extremely thick, my eyebrows are thick, all my hair is very thick. Sorry if this is like TMI, but I'm really looking into laser hair removal, but it's kind of freaking me out, and I just want it done on my underarms. Kind of a weird topic, but I'm actually really curious to see if you've ever had it done, if it was painful, if you regret it, if you like it. I just want to know your opinion. I talked to my dermatologist, and she said that it was like the best thing since sliced bread, and that she loves it, and that it's totally safe, and everything like that, and she, she was like, book an appointment now, and I was like, okay, I'm going to wait. So I've been considering it for like a month. All right, I'm gonna drive to hot yoga. This camera is gonna die. So I'm back from hot yoga, which was amazing. We did handstands this morning, which was kind of crazy, but I did it and I'm so proud of myself because I've only done them a couple other times. We did them against the wall, but it was still really fun. So I'm talking really fast because this battery is going to die. But I got a chocolate smoothie with cacao, banana, and avocado and almond milk. It's so good. This is like perfect post-workout fuel. You have your healthy fats and your sugars from the banana. And just so good. It's so yummy. So I'm going to hop in the shower, do some laundry, and I'm going to get started on a lot of editing. A lot of studying is going to happen today. So let's get on with the day. We're currently... Drive with that light on. Grace is driving. I'm it's scared. It's 70 down this road, Grace. <laughs> Boom. Come to the grocery store. <sighs> no, 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 no. Come with me. No, come with me. No, 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 come with me. No, come with me. No, 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 no. Come with they me. Wanna... They don't want to come with you. Good. 
They want to come with me. No, I'm pretty sure they want to come to the dessert section with both. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's October 27th. First of all, I cannot believe it's the 27th, and second of all, I feel like today is slipping through my fingers. It's already almost one o'clock. Right now, I actually have to go to Walmart because I need to get batteries for my new um, camera mic that I got. Things have been really crazy the past day. There's kind of just a lot. My family's looking for a new place to live and I have personal training. I found out that I have to take my test within two weeks, but I am not gonna be able to do that because I haven't learned all the information that I need to learn and I cannot do it in two weeks. So I have to get an extension and I just have a lot going on. So I feel really tired today. It looks like my room is clean, but then you like, nah, it's not clean. I'm really behind on vlogs and I'm just, I just feel really behind and like it kind of saddens me. Oh. Bobo, what are you doing? <laughs> what happened? What? Why? Are you serious? Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's the 29th of October. I have literally not kept up on any of these vlogs. I'm feeling so sad that I'm behind on editing so many of my vlogs. It's not even like... I've just had a lot going on, and I feel like I've been vlogging and then not vlogging, and... I just miss putting them up like I'm vlogging but I'm not like getting them up and I miss it so I'm gonna read my Bible this morning and then I have a business call at 10 o'clock and I have to edit and upload a vlog my coffee is so good this morning oh my gosh isn't this cup cute mm. this morning I was thinking about a couple things first of all I was really thinking about how when we try to plan things and uh, this is my experience so this is just my personal experience and opinion whenever I try to plan things whether it's relationships in my life whether it's um, just circumstances or goals or just things uh, how I want things to go things to go my way lately I've learned that when we leave it up to God and that when we trust him with our friendships, our relationships, our dating relationships, whatever they are, our goals and our dreams and our aspirations, that God has such a better plan than you plan. And his ways are not our ways and his ways are so much higher than our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts. But he has such good thoughts towards us and that verse that says that his thoughts outnumber the grains of sand for us and how much he thinks about us how much he loves us and what I was what I was really thinking is that you know I have all these like good plans for myself and if they don't go the way that I plan God has a much better plan than my already good plans and it's so crazy to see that if I just trust him and if you just trust him if we trust him he has our best in mind and I read something about it was like a quote about God being fair and how God isn't fair but then the quote said you're right like God isn't fair he's much better than fair when I think about that it made me think of Bo and I's relationship you know there's never gonna be a perfect relationship and you always are gonna have to forgive and say sorry in relationships you're gonna mess up sometimes when I do something or Bo does something that's hurtful just for example if Bo does something that like says something or does something or whatever that's hurtful to me I can either choose to take that in and keep it and grow bitter towards him and be mad at him because that's fair that's the right way to feel I should feel irritated and mad at him for doing something you know what I mean so if he does something and I'm just angry at him and I just let the whole day get ruined and I'm holding on to a grudge God's way of forgiveness mercy when he or forgiveness when he doesn't deserve it that is so much better that is so much better than fair because I don't want to be fair then I don't want to have that bitterness and that anger because I have a right to feel that way if you will but God forgave me and I want to forgive him and so those are just some of my thoughts also with dreams and everything like that I had so much of a different plan for my life I never thought I would make YouTube videos you know when I was 13 or 14 I never thought that I would be getting certified as a personal trainer and I never thought that the opportunities that I have right now 
that are going on in my life, I never thought that the doors that are opening basically without saying too much are God opened doors because there's no way that I could have opened those doors myself. I couldn't do it because I don't have the power in me to open them. There's no way that I could have done it on my own. It is a God, it's literally a God thing. It's funny because I think that the dreams that sometimes I have or the desires that God puts in my heart, I'm kind of like, that is so big. Like that's such a big dream. That's such a big desire. That's kind of scary. Like I don't think that's ever gonna happen. And then God will open doors and it was never up to you in your ability to make it happen. It was never up to your capabilities or your credibility to make it happen. It's up to God and his ordained destiny for your life. And Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans for a hope and for a future. And sometimes when life gets really ugly, when things look bad, and you've definitely seen in my videos when things look bad with life and things like that, when things look bad, I sometimes have a hard time going, God, do you really like have a good plan for me? Because I just feel so like stressed and upset. Sometimes when bad circumstances happen in our life, we tend to, I tend to just say, I don't know if you have good plans for me, God, but all along when I look back, I can see he never left me. He is faithful. He does love me. He just wanted me to trust him. And he was just saying, trust me, I have good plans for you. And that's just what I want to encourage you guys today is that if you're holding on to a dream or a plan and it's not going the way that you expected or maybe it's just taking a different course, you can trust that God knows exactly where you are and he knows exactly what you need. So anyway, I'm gonna get going, I'm gonna read, and I love you and I'll see you later today. Literally just open this up and look. The way of the Lord is not fair. Is it not my way which is fair and your ways which are not fair? What? <laughs> I thought that was so weird because I never say anything like that and I literally just thought of it and then I opened it and there it is. That's God people. He's telling you that his ways are higher than our ways and it's his ways that are fair. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs>